Welcome to our history lesson today. Students watching Smile when you remember the answer to this question. Who were the brothers who invented the first successful airplane? Students watching. Parse it. Okay, that's the place where they tested it, but who were the brothers, Caden? Right brothers. They were the right brothers, and who were their names, Caden? Orville and Wilbur Ross. Thank you, Caden. Well done. They tested their airplane at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and they were able to have a first successful flight there. How many seconds was that first successful flight? Students watching? Depth. 12. Good. What is the difference between an airplane and a glider? Arthur? A glider has no more motor, but an airplane does. Exactly correct. We're going to pick up with the Wright Brothers story. Read our first name for us, Adriana. Yes, a president, and we've talked about him in previous lessons. We're going to find out what he does or what his important contribution with the Wright brothers is. Read our next phrase for us, Caden. Smith, Smith, Smithsonian Institution. Yes, and this is a group of museums and research centers that are run by the U.S. government. Read our next phrase, Caden. Airplane Good, and this is the company that the Wright brothers started to build these aircraft. Now, I want you to find out how much this airplane company eventually sold their business for in our reading today. And then our next phrase, Emily. Monument. Yes, there's a monument to the Wright brothers' contribution of their airplane and their test of flying in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. We're beginning on page 365, right at the top with Orville Wright. Madison, begin. Orville Wright took one of their planes to Fort Myers, Virginia. He flew his plane for the U.S. Army. Theodore Roosevelt Jr. was there to see the historic flight. Orville then joined his brother in Europe. The world has the world was amazed with the success of the Wright brothers. They were able to meet kings, queens, presidents, and other important people from all over the world. When the Wright brothers returned to America, they received medals from Congress and from the Smithsonian Institution. Good. Now let's pause. So the Wright brothers began to show their flight and the ability of flight with their aircraft that they designed to many people. Tell me some people who got to see this take place. Students watching? And Kate it. Queens? Yes, queens would be a group of people, kings, presidents, other people from all over the world, including Theodore Roosevelt Jr., which was that president's son. And it was able to be useful in many different areas. One group of people that would definitely make use of it would be the America's military. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. This group of brothers, the Wright brothers, when they came back, they were rewarded some medals. Give me a group of people that rewarded these brothers. Carson? Smithsonian Institute. Yes, and Congress also rewarded them for their great contributions. Let's find out some more things about the company that they began. Continue reading for us, Gage. During the special holiday celebration in New York City, the Wright brothers flew their plane over the harbor. Everyone looked with amazement as the airplane soared over the water. Well done. Continue, Morgan. The brothers returned to Ohio and started the Wright Airplane Company. They built airplanes and trained pilots to fly them. Only three years later, Wilbur Wright became sick and soon died from his illness. Orville Wright did not want to stay in the business without his brother. He sold the Wright airplane company for $1 million. Let's pause. So one of the things that the Wright brothers did was to show that their aircraft could fly even over water. And many people gathered in the harbor there of New York City to see this event take place. They go to Ohio, they start their company, their Wright airplane company, and they build these aircraft, these airplanes, and they train pilots, people, um, to know how to fly them. Well, Orville becomes sick and he doesn't live much longer. Does Wilbur want to continue the business? Students watching, Asa. So how much was that company sold for, Deb? One million dollars. Good. Continue reading for us. Cadence. The Wright brothers were honored for their invention with a monument. It marks the location where the two young inventors, ma inventors made the world's first successful airplane flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Now let's pause. Where is that monument for the Wright brothers located? Students watching? Morgan. Kitty Hawk, North Yes, now turn the page. You can see a picture of that monument there. And then continue reading for us, Adriana. 
Orville Wright did not experiment with planes anymore, but he made friends with others who loved flying as much as he did. One person he wrote letters to was Amelia Earhart, a famous female pilot. Orville Wright lived long enough to see jet airplanes and hear about the first plane to fly faster than the speed of sound. An amazing adventure in flight all started because of two brothers whose mother encouraged them to find out how things are put together. Well done. Now let's pause. So Orville was able to see jet airplanes. He was able to see them fly faster than the speed of sound. And he was able to see all of these accomplishments with his invention. How do you think he felt about seeing all of that, Caden? He felt like my has gone a long way. Exactly. A lot has been done with it, a lot of improvements, and it had gone a long way in just a short period of time. You can begin thinking maybe of something that you would like to invent, or maybe you've seen an invention and you begin to think, maybe I can improve that. What is something you're interested maybe in inventing or improving? Students watching? Any here? Morgan. Brother Custer? So roller coasters, Morgan would like to design maybe a better design for roller coasters. What would you like to design or improve? Emily. Keep thinking, we'll come back to you. Any others? Kathleen. I like to design dresses. All right, some other different types of clothing. Carson. Video games. Video games, so different things that you may be interested in inventing and making improvements to. Now let's take a look at modern marvels. We're going to discuss this different type or these different types of transportation involving flight. So let's start with our modern marvels for us, Arthur. Modern marvels. Have you ever dreamed you could fly like a bird? If I created bird, birds, bats, and insects with the peril of flight. Power. Bird, power. Power of flight. Mm -hmm. Birds flap their wings to lift off and stay in the air with ease. They gently glide on the wind currents, making lazy circles in the sky. People have always wanted to fly. Men have tried all kinds of ways to stay in the air. Even though we can't fly like these animals, men like Men like the Wright brothers have made it possible of a machine before the Wright brothers. Okay. Men like the Wright brothers have made it possible to fly in... Fly in ma machines. machines. Good. Continue, Josh. Before the Wright brothers, people flew in colorful hot air balloons. These big balloons are connected to a basket that holds passengers. A flame sends heated air into, into a large balloon. The hot air causes the balloon to rise into the sky. As long as the flame is sending hot air upward, the balloon, the balloon will stay afloat. Hot <coughs> air balloons are most, mostly used for fun hobbies today. Now let's pause and take a look at that picture. There you see some examples of hot air balloons. How do hot air balloons stay in the sky, Morgan? From the fire. Yes, from the fire that heats the air and that causes the balloon to rise because heat rises and as it does so, it pushes the surrounding material up and that balloon rises. Let's read more about gliders. Continue, Carly. Before the Wright brothers built their airplanes, gliders were the closest thing to flying. Gliders use wind power. Like birds, gliders can soar for long distances, but they do not have engines to lift off from the ground and stay in the air. The Wright brothers added an engine to the glider. It gave the plane power to move forward on its own. This invention changed the world. Good expression. Let's pause. So we've talked about the difference here, again, between a glider and an airplane. What is that difference between a glider and an airplane? Dev? A glider has no engine, but an airplane has one. Right, exactly correct. And much has been done, even as the Wright brothers were able to see during the time of their invention, starting from that simple engine and things that have been built since then. Things today that are used by the military in their design of aircraft are different fighter planes, one of them being jets. So I have an example here to show you of a fighter jet. This right here is an example of a GOSOC, which is 
a plane that is used by the Navy, and this is the one my brother is training in, in the Navy to fly. So this is one of those jet airplanes that can fly very quickly. They're designed to take off and land on aircraft carriers, and the Navy uses this one. So this is the one my brother is flying in the Navy at this time. Now, another airplane that we're going to see that the president makes use of is Air Force One. So here's a picture of Air Force One. It's designed to hold a lot of people and things inside of it. And this one here is on the ground. And then we have another one in flight as well. And you can even see at the bottom is what monument, Carly? Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. There you see it, Air Force One flying over Mount Rushmore. So let's read more about these advances in flight as we pick up with our next section, Inventors Like the Wright Brothers. Tyra. Inventors like the Wright brothers continue to improve flying machines. And today, the changes are amazing. Now, there are many types of planes. The United States Armed Forces use fighter, je fighter jets to protect and defend our country. If you decide to go on vacation across the sea, you will probably ride in a jet airliner. These big airplanes are built to hold many passengers and heavy cargo. Helicopters are small, smaller air, aircraft which ha, have wings or rotors, rotors. rotors on the top that rotate and lift them into the air. Seaplanes are able to take off from the land on the water. Some people even own private jets to, t to take them wherever they want to go. The President of the United States travels in a large jet called Air Force One. Air Force One. The Wright brothers probably have no idea that their invention would help Americans, America soar into the future and even into outer space. Good expression. Great advancements that we've seen from those Wright brothers' invention of the airplane and how much it has advanced in time. Let's take a look at the next page with our comprehension checkup. Take out a pencil. Let's look at our questions. Number one, what toy did Orville and Wilbur's father give them? Caden. C, wind-up plane. Okay, good. It's C, a wind-up plane. Number two, after their printing business, what did the Wright brothers repair and design next? Students watching? Deb. Bicycles. Yes, letter A, bicycles. Letter or number three, what were the Wright brothers awarded from Congress and the Smithsonian Institution? Morgan. Medals. Right, number four. Where did the Wright brothers test their gliders and make the first successful flight? Arthur. Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Kitty Hawk, North Carolina is correct. Well done. Number five, who were the first or who was the first brother to successfully fly the Wright Flyer One? Kaden. Wilbur? No. Orville? Orville. Right. How long was that first flight? Students watching? Emily. Twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. Good. Number seven. List two things the Wright Airplane Company did. Yuna? trained pilots. Right, it trained pilots. And what did the pilots fly? Morgan? Airplane. Airplane. So it built the airplanes and then it trained the pilots to be able to fly the airplanes so that they would know what they're doing. You may close your books once you've written that final answer. Put your pencil down. Leave that book to the side. If you have your paper airplane ready for our lesson today, you can go ahead and take that out at this time. We're going to have several come demonstrate their ability to fly their paper airplane. We're going to start over here close to our row five, and we'll let our airplane fly, and we'll see how far several of these airplanes can fly. So lining up on this side, right behind Carson. Carson, you may line up first. Dev, Jimmy, Morgan, Carly, Gage and Presley are ready to go up first. And Cadence, you can join that group as well. And we have our first contestant ready to fly his airplane. He has a release. And then we'll see how far that airplane can fly. So on the count of three, just a big smile if you think it was able to go very two and three. Oh, very far. Nice job. Give him a big smile. Dev, your turn. On the count of three, one, two, and three. Oh, pretty far. All right. Jimmy. Three. Good job. All right, Morgan, on the count of three. One, 
two, and three. Oh, close effort there. All right, Carly's at, on the count of three. One, two, and three. Very close. Gage's turn. He's got a sharp points on the end of his airplane on the count of three. One, two, and three. Oh, that one flew pretty far. Let's have Presley on the count of three. His has a sleek look to the back of it. On the count of three. One, two, and three. Oh, so close. Cadence on the count of three. One, two, and three. Oh, that one flew pretty far. So we had several airplanes fly pretty far today. At this time, we're going to review several of our states. So let's have some scorekeepers, Adriana for the girls team and Caden for the boys team. And then our first two girls and boys may stand. Students watching, keep track of how many states you are able to get correct. Washington girls have it next to you. Oregon. Oregon girls have it next to you. Good job. Gage and Carly. Yes. Boys next to you. Nevada. Boys next to Jeff and Morgan. Iowa. Tie. Both teams a point next to you. Jackson Madison. Montana. Good, Montana. Girls have it next to Asa and Anna. Wow. Tie, both teams a point. Jacob and Una. Colorado. Boys next to Arthur and Kathleen. Utah. Yes, boys. Carson and Cadence. Arizona. Tie, both teams a point. Josh and Tyra. New Mexico. Girls next to Emily Aiden. Dakota. Girls next to you. South Dakota. Good boys next to Carly and Gage. Nebraska. Girls have it. Lexi and Jimmy. Hanson. Tie, both teams a point. Devin Morgan. Oklahoma. Girls next to you. Jackson Madison. Tennessee. Texas. Texas. Girls have a good Madison next to you. Asa and Anna. Minnesota. Minnesota. Boys were here faster. Next to Jacob, Yuna. Iowa. Boys. Next to Arthur and Kathleen. Massachusetts. Students watching? Anyone? Carson. Missouri. Missouri is right. And Carson, you're up with Cadence. Arkansas. Boys. Next to Josh, Tyra. Louisiana. Girls were here faster. Next to Michigan. Girls. Next to Amaya Presley. Indiana. Students watching? Anyone? Asa. Illinois. Illinois. Boys have it. Carly H. Indiana. Indiana. Boys. Lexi Jimmy. Ohio. Girls. Deb Morgan. Pennsylvania. Boys. Jackson Madison. New York. Boys. Asa Anna. Maine. Tie. Both teams a point. Jacob Una. Virginia. Virginia. Boys have it next to. North Carolina. North Carolina, good. Remember them for the Wright brothers. Mississippi, no points. Next to you. Just Florida. Girls, Amaya Presley. Alabama. Alabama, girls have it next to you. Carly Gage. Tennessee. Girls, next to you. West Virginia. Boys, Deb Morgan. Blue. New Jersey. Girls, next to you. Pink or red. New Students watching? Anyone? Jacob? Vermont. Vermont. Boys have it. Asa Anna. Maine. Tie both teams a point. Jacob, Una. Blue one. Massachusetts. Boys next to Arthur Kathleen. Red one. Virginia. Students watching? Anyone? Jacob? Delaware. Delaware next to you. Purple. Maryland. Boys. Next to last one. Red. Red Island. Boys. Let's take a look at our score. And it looks like the boys have 1028. Girls have 1021. So boys are the winners for our states competition today. Give yourself a pat on the back, boys. Well done. Students watching, how many states did you remember? Good thinking. Well done. Continue to review the things that we've talked about and learned about so far with the Wright brothers so that you'll be ready.